Well, hello, folks out there in YouTube land. Got a big show lined up for you. Let's get right on into it. All right, let's pull up this screen. Oh, yeah, there's a story out there. Josh Heupel should be looking at Auburn. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. This isn't even a... Mm, absolutely not. I forbid it. I forbid it. It's not to happen. He is to go nowhere. Anyway, we're also going to talk about a five-star that's been predicted to go to the Vols, which has... Look, that doesn't surprise me in the slightest. All right, we're going to get into the five-star after we talk about Josh Heupel, but uh, I'm not going to... No way he leaves. You don't even want to see what I would do. <laughs> Where are you? I'm in a glass case of emotion. Oh, yeah. I would not handle that well at all. I would be <laughs> fit to be tied. There's no doubt. Dad, you want to ask for something? Don't touch! Oh, yeah. Let, let's take a look at this crap. Said Vols head coach Josh Heupel mentioned as option for open college football job. Didn't come from me. Says Tennessee Vols head coach Josh Heupel was mentioned this week by football scoops John Bryce. John Bryce. As a potential option for Auburn Tigers. Auburn's looking for a new head coach. Harson, who arrived at Auburn, went 9-12. and 12. We, Yeah, 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 yeah. He was terrible. A pair of potential outlier. That's exactly right. Outlier names but coaches who continue to increase their brands josh heupel and let's see who else nick saban or somebody who else who's the other one yeah he's already national coach of the year we know that Ooh, auburn actually had a chance to uh, hire josh heupel but instead they hired brian harson how'd that work out for you it says if i'm josh heupel's agent i would make a heavy run to get heupel involved at auburn now that i actually do understand because that's going to get his money up at tennessee look Tennessee, UT, do not make me come over there. You need to get him signed to an eight-year deal for $10 million or something like that. Just get it done. I'll, I've already told you I will turn this car around. Don't think I won't. Get it done. It says, I'm sure Auburn will give Heifel's agent a call, and his agent will say, oh, yeah, he's very interested. Oh, yeah, and then I'll take that offer over to UT and say, oh, well, now what are you going to do about that? Tennessee fans will have to get used to it as long as he's in Knoxville of having success. Said so it's not a bad problem to have. Yeah, you're right about that. Is he a serious option for Auburn? Guy said, I just don't see it. Lane Kiffin will be the Tigers' top target. I agree with that. I just can't imagine Hypo wanting to leave Tennessee as he's got the program rapidly moving in the right direction. Why start over at a place like Auburn that's become a mess with booster involvement? Plus, Tennessee's a better job. Just a couple of months ago that Vols Athletic Director Danny White threw major shade at Auburn. Oh, he did. That's right. Forgetting the heck out of you. He got upset over the other AD. Eh, you know. Closing ranks, whatever. Said, beyond that, I think Heupel genuinely loves Knoxville, and I think he loves the Tennessee traditions and the incredible fan base. There's no doubt that Heupel's salary is going to increase again this offseason, but it will be money well spent. All right, now let's move to something positive. Tennessee predicted to land five-star wide receiver. It says Ryan Wingo. He's a 2024 wide receiver. He's the number two. Uh, well, he's a five-star, so he's top 25. Let's see. He's the number two wide receiver, number 10 player, and uh, he's just an absolute stud wide receiver. He's uh, been looking at Notre Dame, Louisville, Texas A&M, all the, all the typical ones. He unofficially visited Tennessee back in June. It says uh, Tennessee's 2024 recruiting class off to a hot to a hot start, ranking in the top 10. It's going to be awesome. We're going to be in top five where it's all over in 2024. No diggity, no doubt. Already got Jonathan Eccles, a five-star. Got a nice defensive lineman. Four-star Mazio Bennett. Four-star a corner, Caleb Beasley. I think he's the number two player in the state of Tennessee. Let's take a look, see at what this guy can do. Here he is running back a kick, obviously. Yeah, you won't be tackling me because I'm way better than you. And yeah, 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 I'm just playing with you. And now I'm gone. Oh, I'm, get out of my way. Get out of my way. You too. <laughs> and a touchdown. And let's see what he does on a punt return. You know, this is what you do when you got the best athletes. You have him do everything. There's no way. And is he going to get out of this? What? What? Tackle. Okay. That's a little ridiculous. That's... That's high school for you. The best athlete always seems to win. Let's see what he does as a wide receiver. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, I could see him. Could you see him doing that at Tennessee? No problem. Yep. Goodbye. Yep. 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 I'm I'm gone. Little got a little bit of Brew McCoy look about him. He's a big dude. One of those guys you can throw at ten yards and let him run another ten or twenty. Yep. Now they got him as running back. Okay. Yeah. He's just doing everything. And I think that's from his sophomore year. So imagine what he's going to be like uh, next year. Be even faster. And I am I surprised. I've told you. We don't need to be worrying about recruiting. That's going to take care of itself. We're going to knock it out of the park this year and next next year. Oh, my gosh, it's going to be unbelievable. 2024, we might end up with the number one rated class. I would not be a bit surprised if we do. And this year, we're going to end up in the top five, I think. And this is how I feel about our recruiting. Oh, yeah, we are looking so good in recruiting. I'm not terribly concerned about it. I'm just going to sit back and enjoy it because, look, we're winning like crazy. We have the best offense in the country, and it's not even close. That's number one. Number two, we have the best fan base in the country. It's not even close. We have the best stadium effects, fireworks, music, lighting show, everything a kid could want. We're 8 no. We've got the hottest coach in the country. And if you're not looking at the University of Tennessee and you're a four or five star you're making a big mistake. Oh, and we got uh, NIL money. Do you like money, scoring touchdowns, and an unbelievable fan base in an unbelievable environment? Do you like those things as an 18-year-old? Maybe. Maybe they'd like that. So I'm not a bit worried about recruiting. It's going to be boom. <laughs> All right, folks. Well, I wanted to go ahead and get that out of the way, this crap about Josh Heupel to Auburn and some story about it. It's not going to happen. We're going to make sure of it. Looks like we got another five-star coming, which is great. You know, granted, it's a uh, it's a crystal ball. You know, it's not that he's committed, but uh, it looks really good for the Vols. And I'm, I just don't have a lot of concern about recruiting right now. I think it's going to take care of itself, and we're going to knock it out of the park. And if you like this content, be sure to hit that like button. Let's me know to continue to continue to cover the balls. And if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. I'd appreciate it. I've only been doing this about three or four months. I could use some subscribers. I sure could. You could just hit that button. Help me out a little bit. All right. Anyway, hope you did like the content. We'll see you next time on Sports Talk Jay.